I am going to show you how to edit your image in Pixel R. There are a few things here. The shadows could be darker. Um, I don't like that glare on the left. And we've got a bit of um, house in it. Uh, so we need to edit some of those things away. First of all, I'm going to crop my image to the view that I want. I've just realized that that's the uh, drawback of having Pixel R and not paying for it, is that you get adverts. So making sure that I've got the shadow completely in shot. So I've used the selection tool on my palette and I've clicked and dragged over the area that I want. And then I go to image and crop. OK, um, so now I've kind of solved the problem of the glare. Don't have to think about that anymore. Um, but I want to um, increase the contrast in my image. So I'm going to brightness and contrast in adjustments. I'm going to make it a little bit darker, but I'm going to bring my contrast up so you can see those shadows. We're starting to see more of the shadows of the prong. Don't go too far because then it looks ugly and you lose information. So it's getting the right balance in terms of your editing. OK. So let's give it a bit more contrast. And then when you've um, completed the action, you need to press apply. It's got quite a cool function in here, actually. Let me just go back. Uh, brightness contrast. You, if I move it, you can this um, function here. You can see what it looked like before and see if what you're doing is actually any better. So for me, it's not. So I'll cancel that. Okay. So I've solved the problem of the glare. I've made my shadows a little bit stronger. I like my composition better, but I've still got this corner where um, that I don't like. So you've got a tool on here called the clone stamp, and it looks like a, an old-fashioned stamp. Look, it's great on this if you hover over. Um, you can see what it is. So you want the clone stamp. It's much easier if you went, when you take the photograph, you don't, you don't have things like this in the shot. But anyway, so I've got my clone tool. I click where I want to clone from. Just make sure my opacity is on 100%, 100%. Click where I want to clone from. And then start to um, cover up that area. So I click where I want to steal, where I want to steal from. And then I go over the top, click where I want to steal from over the top and so on. OK, so sometimes you can see um, a line. It's, it's fine here, but I can see a bit of a line at the top. So I'm going to drop my opacity down for my clone tool and try and go over that bit to try and blend it together a little bit more. So that's a bit better. OK, so now I've got rid of that corner. The last thing I'm going to do is change my image because Andre Cortez's fork is black and white. Now, I, I could do this in a few ways, but what I'm going to actually do is reduce the saturation. I'm going to reduce what that means is reduce how much color is in the image. So in your adjustments, hue saturation, I'm just I can see that that's loads of color in there, but I'm going to take it down so it's more black and white. But it still has a hint of color by doing that. That's why I like it. Okay, so that's much better.